All right, well, how do we convert x-rays into an image we can see using the image intensifier? If you remember, your image intensifier is going to be above the patient. Here is my Lego C-arm um, that my husband and son built me for my demoing purposes, all right? Your x-ray source is at the bottom. Your image intensifier is at the top. Your patient that's maybe on the OR table will be here in the middle. The x-rays come through the patient from underneath, exit the patient, and the remnant beam or exit radiation will hit your um, image intensifier. There are a few layers of your image intensifier. The first step is the input phosphor. That's where the x-rays go in. Okay, it's number one. The input phosphor is made of cesium iodide. This takes x-ray photons and converts them to light photons. Attached to the input phosphor is a photocathode. This is going to take those light photons that we just created and convert them into electrons. This process where electrons are emitted from a light source is referred to as photoemission. The photocathode is made of the alloy of antimony compounds and cesium. We then need to focus these electrons towards my output phosphor. So my electrostatic lenses come in and they're going to focus this stream towards the output phosphor. There's, depending on the machine, um, and they may have an anode here first. This anode is a little bit different than the x-ray tube anode because it has a hole in it. So it's kind of shaped like a donut um, because these electrons are going to go through the hole and to the output phosphor, which is sort of the end of my image intensifier. The output phosphor is made of zinc cadmium sulfide and the last the last step of the process here converts electrons into light photons okay so the x-rays go in the in input and the output is at the end okay. just some tricks to help you remember this information um, i was taught a long time ago x l e l m for fluoro x-rays to light light to electrons, electrons back to light, and then we'll see the image on the monitor. How does that work? We'll go back through it again. The input phosphor, cesium iodide, converts x-rays to light, x to L. Photocathode converts light to electrons, L to E. Your electrostatic lenses, they simply focus. They don't convert anything. The anode is a donut shape made of tungsten. And then the last step was the output phosphor made of zinc cadmium sulfide, and it converts electrons to light photons. And then once we're at the end here, we're sort of stuck with light photons and we need to convert them so we can see them on the monitor. If you think back to your DR processes, there's um, a component that can do two jobs. Remember that charge coupled device or CCD? that could convert light to electrical signal, collect electrical signal, send it to ADC. As we advance, you know, some of these components may differ, um, but either way, we need a component that's gonna convert um, the light photons into an electrical signal, and then something has to convert them into a digital signal. So remember from um, our DR talk, the analog to digital converter or ADC converts electrical to digital signal, and then we'll be able to see it on our screen or our monitor. And some other tips that I have to remember um, the components. So remember in, in equipment or image production, anything, a lot of the questions ask about materials. What is it made of? I remember um, alphabet C comes before Z. So cesium is at the beginning and zinc is at the end. Um, your input phosphor, the x-rays go in the input phosphor and we end at the out. One hint that I always have for equipment in any of these processes, whether it's CR, DR, or image intensifier, we never convert back to x-ray photons. So that will never be your answer, okay? We don't convert back to x-ray photons ever. This one, we do a few steps converting back to light um, and electrical signal and things like that, but never converts back to x-ray photons. So I hope that hint is helpful for you. I always recommend being able to put these steps in order. 
if given these components, could you put them in order? Can you tell me what they do? And can you tell me what they're made of? Um, and that can help you with a lot of those floral questions. So write this out, draw it out if you are artistically inclined. I am not. Um, but take the components, put them in order. You could do flashcards and put them in order to help you with this process.